I'm Bob Frilly, and welcome to Covington Radio 2. It was very nice, and when I got to the shelter, it was practically full. Tradition Radio Broadcast is a great lesson idea for enhancing uh, the pupils' uh, production of non-fiction texts. This is the sort of second stage in producing um, a, a written, a really good quality written recount. Before they write it, they need to know how to speak it. And uh, the most exciting way I can think of being able to speak it is to actually get into role and produce a, a radio broadcast. Who's going to do the introduction part? I'll start the radio broadcast lesson by emphasising to the pupils what information they're expected to get across to their listener. We're studying World War II as our topic. We're recounting a single incident where a lemonade factory uh, was bombed, 107 people were killed. Is this story happy and jolly? Or is there something else going on here? Lots of people got killed by, it's not a happy place to be. And then give them a, a, a template for which to write their script. This is uh, split into the introduction which the newsreader back in the studio will present. They have the job of uh, including the main five W's and also grabbing the listener's attention. Main story today is the tragic bombing incident um, over in Wilkinsfield. And then go on to the question. Yeah. then move on to the roving reporter, the reporter at the scene, who expands on one or two of these W's to add further information for the listener. Third part of the template is a quote adding more information. This is in the context of our broadcast that we did, um, a survivor from the disaster, an eyewitness or one of the heroes, someone who was actually there. The final part of the template uh, is back to the newsreader. It's the conclusion which rounds off the entire broadcast. What would summarise these three bits really well and what will link it back? The main thing I want them to get out of it is that they don't just present any information they've found out. They have to frame the information in some sort of way. With topic sentences at the start of uh, paragraphs that they speak, having a clear viewpoint, uh, basically presenting information with a twist, with their own leaning on it. Three, two, one, go. Hello, I'm Bob Frilly and welcome to Governor Radio 2. A tragic event happened last night in North Shields, Newcastle. 107 people were killed by a direct hit on Wilkinson's Lemonade Factory. The next stage when they've written their scripts is the broadcast itself. For this we use ICT. It's a really efficient way of producing broadcasts quickly and easily. We have headphones and microphones which can be attached to the computers which um, miraculously screen out a lot of background noise so you can, really can hear the broadcast. And there's a number of free sound recording and pieces of software out there which don't cost a school anything which can be easily downloaded and they're very, very simple to use. It was terrifying when I heard the bomb. Such a loud squeal. I was lucky to survive this tragedy. I know I'm luckier than most. Should we start it again then? Yeah. And listen to it. Yeah. Ready, go, you go. It's not the best. I'm going to be laughing. They're constantly evaluating. Uh, the recordings. So they record, they listen to it, they check, then other people in their group check it. Uh, so there's that constant evaluation and editing going on. There's real teamwork involved. My throat and lungs were filled with dust. Next thing I knew, I was in hospital with a fractured arm. Now listen to it. With a fractured arm. Yeah. What I feel these broadcasts are really good for is really getting over the hurdle of stopping the children from just purely presenting the information. So they've got to present the information in such a way that it really engages, first of all, the listener. Once they've learned how to really engage the listener in their broadcast, they can then apply that to really engage in the reader when they come to write their recounts. This caused a huge amount of damage and death. Although 85 people survived, Wickers' lemonade factory will not be making lemonade anymore. Thank you. Britain can take it. Join me again tomorrow at the same time for more updates on the world. It's bye for me. And bye for me. <laughs>